This is a D-Link DSL G624T ADSL2 modem, router, switch, and wireless access point all in one unit. And the procedure that I'm going to perform troubleshooting and repairing this device is applicable generally to all brands of uh, switches, routers, and other internet access points. So with this model, I had it for a few years and I already replaced two capacitors inside. Recently, it began to exhibit a particular problem of not being able to connect to the internet from any of the attached computers through the internet wire. And I tried to troubleshoot it and found out that through the wireless connection, I was able to access the internet. But through the ethernet wired connection, I couldn't. I tried to reset the router and that didn't help. So I decided to check the router by connecting different computers directly to the ethernet port and none of them could connect to the internet. Well, through the wireless connection, all the devices could connect to the internet. The strange thing is that the wired connections were able to pin all the websites. However, they were not able to establish an actual connection to receive any data, which led me to believe that the transmission packets were either getting lost or corrupt. So here I already removed the screw from the bottom of the router and I opened the cover here to show you the inside. And inside this router you can see there are the LED lights, the wireless access card, the antenna, the SL line input, the four Ethernet ports, and on the back you can also see them better. You have the 12 volt 1.2 amp AC connection. You could use either an AC or DC adapter. And here's the reset. And this is most likely the uh, processor and the memory. Okay, so to show you, these two capacitors have been replaced. One was replaced in June 27th, 2012, and another one was replaced in May 2013. And these are 25 volt, 1000 microfarad. And if I just look at the circuit board, there is no bulging capacitor, no leaking capacitor, and visually I cannot say any capacitors are damaged. And it's unlikely these two are damaged because I just replaced them within six months apart of each other. And these two, they look fine. And all the other ones look functional. However, as in the case of capacitors, well, a damaged capacitor exhibits obvious signs such as bulging or leaking needs to be replaced. Sometimes they fail gradually over time and there is no sign developed yet that you can inspect visually. And with this kind of problem, it is likely to be caused by these smaller capacitors which rarely go bad, but they do go bad sometimes. And these are 25 volt, 45 microfarad, or these 25 volt, 100 microfarad capacitors. And from what I read, these are responsible for the filtering of the Ethernet, Ethernet port connections. And I'm going to troubleshoot this, replace them, and see if that helps. So first, let me show you just the symptom it exhibits when I connect a wired connection 
Ethernet cable. So now you can see when I plug in the power, the lights flash once, and you can see that the power is on. And I will take an Ethernet cable to show you. So if you can see here, these four correspond to the four Ethernet ports, and none of them lit up. So let me try another one. There's no light. Again, no light. And the last one, there's no also no light. And that indicates clearly there's something wrong with the switching part of the router unit. If I wait for 15 seconds to 30 seconds, the Ethernet light briefly flashes on. And if I wait more time, maybe after one minute, two minutes, it will begin to flash more frequently. Sometimes staying solid, but more likely blinking continuously uh, in a strange way. Now, on the other side, of the connection sometimes indicates that the connection is half duplex when it should be full duplex because this has the switching function of 100 megabits per second full duplex and if it drops down to 10 megabits per second or if it drops down to half duplex there's something wrong and I tested the cable before determining it could be the problem of the actual switching part of the router itself so now you can see even after two minutes here, almost two minutes here, you still don't see the light comes on steady. It just blinks every now and then. Okay, so I'm going to remove this and prepare the board for the substitution of capacitors. I replaced four 25 volt 100 microfarad capacitors made by Tebow with the brand Rubicon and you can see them here one two three and four and I have this unit plugged into the power and I have also four Ethernet cables from four different devices connected and here you can see the four LED lights are all solid or blinking when there is activity so that seemed to have solved the problem by replacing the 25 volt 100 microfarad and I didn't have to touch the 25 volt 47 microfarad capacitors. And I didn't want to replace all the other capacitors that are not showing obvious physical sign of damage because I didn't really think they are part of the problem since by replacing the 25 volt 100 microfarad fixed the problem. If any new problems arise in the future, I will then troubleshoot and replace the capacitors as needed. For now, I think this is fine. And it fixed the problem of the router not being able to detect cables when they are attached to the Ethernet port. So try it, it may help you to save the router. And it's a really inexpensive repair.